testing one, two, three, four. Oh, there's a little bit of a lag and a little bit of a drag. And my camera's not angled so good and my head's going bobble. But anyway, that's not much new. Um, uh, tonight, I want to talk, or tonight, yeah, right, so whenever you're playing this, I wanted to bring up the good old, um, recently released, or not so recently, the uh, JC antibody uh, virus uh, test. And I know it's been on YouTube and some people uh, don't care. Um, Ty Savory's done such a good job. For me, Ty Savory brought back my baseline, I think, by about maybe 20%. Uh, come or take the, uh, uh, give or take the, uh, what do you call it, search and speech uh, day. Good day, bad day. Thing. But uh, forgive the hair, I do have hat head. This time it's a summer hat, not a winter hat. But back to this antibody test. I called Biogen. And I said, what is uh, with this uh, test? I said, uh, I said, one doctor wants me to have it. And I said, the one that's giving me Ty Savory, I said, uh, never offered it. And, oh, well, it's just a test. Well, when the results came back and I'm antibody positive, and I'm on my two year plus mark, um, I don't know if I want to play uh, Russian roulette. And neither does my MD. It's like there's two forms of uh, opinion there. You know, there's head stabilization, hold the chin. Um, two opinions, I guess. Quality of life. And uh, as opposed to, uh, I guess, potent potential severe disability and uh, death which I guess also MS could provide you with too over a period of time. Um, but anyway, uh, the MD tells me, and MDs, two of them, they said this test means, means something. They, one of them said that puts you probably in about a 1 in 300 ballpark range seeing whereas on your, about, uh, about on uh, year two for uh, PML. My personal MD, although I loaded it and pulled so many uh, questions, he almost went back to speaking his native language, which I believe is Russian or some form like that, but he said, he said, no, I believe that puts you at about a 1 in 150 risk for PML. And I'm saying, hmm, if I just got it, I'm antibody positive, what is, what is my risk today? So anyway, I think I may have called Biogen back and said, how come all the MDs are using it and they're telling me there's a 1 in 300 or possibly 1 in 150 risk with this uh, Ty Sabri when you're JC antibody positive? And those are the results. Oh, the tests mean nothing yet. You can talk to your doctor and you can make a joint decision, but we don't have enough data for those tests to mean anything. Um, pardon me, whoever watches this, but did you ever get the impression someone was telling you to bend over? Um, anyway, in reality, what am I? Scared? My next step may be Galenia, Gylenia, whatever it is, Fingamod, Fingoslod. Um, I'm worried about losing my baseline. I'm worried my eyes will start to go flark again, which I can make them do occasionally. I'm worried that maybe I'll have to say, oh, I'm hot, it's only 79 degrees, and I don't feel like going out into the sunlight. All that routine that uh, my wife had to put up with when we had um, 34 consecutive days of uh, 90 plus last summer. But anyway, so that's it. I'm not really trying to wrap it up. Does anyone else out there um, think that maybe Biogen could see this coming and downplayed it? And I was reading something on the internet saying that a patient and their doctor um, came up with the theory that some, I think the patient says, geez, I hope there isn't a PML explosion here. And the doctor said, I never liked this one day one because the things were starting to add up. You're safe your first year. 
the risk increases after year one. One. Um, you come up on your two-year mark, all of a sudden there's an antibody test. Um, all of a sudden the tests are starting to come out positive. And the MDs are taking people off, giving them a choice, or recommending they come off. My brother has MS too, and so does my sister. But my brother, when I first started this stuff, said, Are you tired? He said, Or do you really want to be part of a protocol study in disguise? Alright, give Tysabri its due. It helped. And it continues to help. But am I going to have one more infusion of mouse antibodies? I don't think so. I don't think so. Now this uh, hypochondria with MS is symptom ch chasing. If I got a little bit of missing sensation in this pinky, I know it. If there's a flicker in one eye, I'll tell you exactly where it is. So, on with the psychosomatic symptoms. But, I have a strange suspicion. I hope no one out there has stock in Biogen's uh, Tysabri. Or I hope they get it right. 